ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Voodoo Comedy Playhouse. How are you guys doing tonight? That's the noise we love. Thank you so much. This is the hot comedy experience, and I would like you to welcome to the stage your host for the evening, Ultra Sex Lady. I don't know why I hadn't planned that, probably shouldn't have done it. We're going to get this hot comedy experience started off for y'all right tonight with a song about all of us being friends, okay? Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. And if you do a party, you would see the biggest gift would be from me And the card attached would say Thank you for being a friend That's the point we're trying to make. We hope that all of us can be friends this evening. Thanks for listening to us. You know, we start out with the song from television and the next song about a great group of men. And I hope you ladies are in, you're in for a real treat tonight. You in the front here, okay? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm walking. I was walking and I met a man. He looked so proud, such joy just flowed out from his heart. I was like, brother, what's your secret? I was like, brother, how do you keep it all together? He pointed up at his head, looked me in the eye, and he said that when you're bald, you got a big fat dick. Got the head on the ceiling now, big fat dick. Look like Jean-Luc Picard looks with your big fat dick. When you're bald, baby, you got a big fat dick. Oh. Ladies, ladies, you know it's true. I know you've been with a lot of different men. A luscious head of hair, a selfish lover, but a bald man. He'll take the time to do it right. He'll go all night. He'll make sure you get your ticket and you arrive at Double O Town. Because when you're bald, you got a big fat dick. Got the hairline receding now. Big fat dick. You look like Jean-Luc Picard looks with your big fat dick. Because when you're bald, what do you have? Got a big fat dick. I want to hear you people singing now. Big fat dick. What do bald men have? They got big fat dick. What does John Lou Picard have? Big fat dick. I'm screaming, fuck you, Rogaine. Why? Big fat dick. Oh, that's just science, okay? You know. Most guys look at it as a bad thing. The way I look at it, every inch loss is an inch gain. If you, know what I'm you know, that's just how it works. So I hope you're marrying a bald man, Liz. Because you're going to have... You're going to be satisfied. That's what I'm saying. Um, and also, but if he goes bald, know that it's a good thing. Uh, this next song is kind of like a roadmap on, uh, on how a song works, okay? There's not even a song playing right now. Right? Wait a second. That sounds like there's a song getting started. Sounds That's like, like an intro. So you know, it kind of gets the blood pumping. Okay. Uh, the next step. Okay. The next step. What I'm going to do is I'm going to count it off into the first verse. It's going to oh. sound something like this. Okay. One, two, three, four. This is the first verse. This is the first verse. This is where you kind of decide if you like it. How do you feel? Do you like it? I don't know. What's the chorus sound like? You're going to find out in a second. Cause a baby, here we go. Now this is the chorus. Chorus, chorus, chorus. Cause the chorus is the best part of any fucking song. Now you sing it. This is what's on now. That's what I call music. This is what I call music. We're into the second verse, okay? Second verse. That's the meat and the potatoes of the whole fucking song. If the song is your lover, well then the chorus is the sound of you fucking now. So fuck, 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 fucking to the chorus. Fucking, 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 that's how songs work. They lead you on, you fuck, they drop you like an old hat. That's the way it goes. Anyway, 
Um, where are my panda fans out there? Uh, are you like panda bears, people? <laughs> Probably better that you didn't scream yes, because who knows where we're going to take you on this ride. No, I I'm indifferent. Let's see how you feel. Look how cute. He's a little panda bear. So sweet. I think I want to name him. I want to name him Peepo Perfect. It's not a good name for a panda bear. There's just one thing that I would like to say. Fuck you, because you're stupid. You're fucking ugly. And no one likes you because you're a panda bear. Your eyes are brown like doo-doo. And you smell like doo-doo too. And you're black and white. And you live in the forest, and you're going extinct. It kind of makes you think, huh, maybe it's not them. Maybe it's me. Maybe it is. I want to punch a panda. I want to punch a panda. I want to punch a panda. I just want to punch a panda. I just want to punch a panda. I just need to punch a panda. Oh, I want to punch now. I want to punch now. I want to say one thing. Fuck you, and the World Wildlife Fund too. You can suck my dick, and PETA, and the vegetarians. Wait, I'm getting off topic, gotta bring it back to panda bears now. Have you ever stood face to face with a panda bear? It'll make you sick. They carry all sorts of diseases. AIDS came from a panda bear. I want to punch panda. I want to punch a panda bears. Punch, punch a panda. What? I want to punch a panda bear Now I feel like Rocky Balboa That panda bear is Ivan Drago He killed my best friend in the ring I've got to avenge Apollo Creed Said I I I I I I've got to punch that panda bear I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I local comedian and promoter, and she put this show together, so none of us would be in this room without her. So let's get a round of applause for her. Ladies and gentlemen, love it, love it. Once you go, Jew, you don't ever go back, as I understand it. You know, we, we write a lot of songs about animals, if you're going to believe that. I know what you're saying, but you cuss so much. We like to integrate those two subjects. Um, this song right here is uh, about animals, if you'll believe that. Well, there's a lot of different types. There's so many. Well, there's a lot of different phylums and genomes and species all diversified across the animal kingdom. For instance, otters. And, and there's bears. And tigers. There's a sea otter. And there's a sea anemone. And there's a blue and whale. Cats. And there's a sperm whale. And, and there's a dolphin. And, and there's a cheetah. And, and there's a lynx. And, and there's a house cat. And, and all of these things the are in the animal kingdom. Because in the animal kingdom, the animal kingdom. There's only one top dog in the animal kingdom. There's only one king in the animal kingdom. And it ain't the fucking lion. It's the human fucking being. Cause porpoises. We're better. Sea anemones. We're better. Coral reefs. We're better. And a slug. We're better. And a snail. We're better. And a leopard. We're better. And the snow lion. We're better. And the bears. We're better. And koala bears. We're better. And lemurs. We're better. Said we're better, 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 better in the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom. Ain't no lion gonna be having me for dinner, no sir. In the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom. Ain't no cow gonna make a jacket out of my fucking skin. I'm screaming, fuck you, Free Willy. Screaming, fuck you, Bambi. I'm screaming, fuck you, Nemo. I'm screaming, fuck you, Zazu. I'm screaming, fuck you, Simba. I'm screaming, fuck you, Nala. I'm screaming, fuck you, Scar. I'm screaming, fuck you, all 101 Dalmatians. Because the humans are the best. The humans are the best creature. Because we got the fucking gun. Ain't no animal got a gun. Just a human fucking being. I'm screaming, fuck you, animals. I'm screaming, fuck you, animals. In the animal kingdom. 
Thank you. Ah, that's awesome. I know what you want. I can feel it off you. You're like, what? Uh, I'm enjoying the animal material. Do you have anything about Legos? And we do, and that's what's great. Uh, we played this song uh, on Monday morning in an elementary school um, with a slight tweak. I want you to, uh, we, didn't, we didn't do it to the kids. I want you to see if you can spot the one word that changed in this Lego song for eight-year-olds, okay? okay. Yellow, green, and blue. Well, Lego, will you build me too? Now, build, motherfucker, build, build, motherfucker, motherfucker, build, motherfucker, motherfucker, build, build, and now build, motherfucker, build, build, motherfucker, now build, motherfucker, build, motherfucker, build. Oh, gonna build you out of pieces. Gonna build you bricks on top of brick. Built of yellow, green, and blue. Well, Lego, will you build me too? On a Tuesday afternoon, sky was two shades of Lego blue, and every time that I build you a Lego, you always build me too. Build motherfucker, build, build motherfucker, mother, build motherfucker, build, build motherfucker, now build motherfucker, build, build motherfucker, build motherfucker, build, build motherfucker, 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 build. Now build motherfucker, build motherfucker, mother, build motherfucker, build motherfucker, mother, 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 Legos. We're going to welcome to the stage your next comedian tonight. His name is Mike Hammett. He is a That's what's happening. It's time for another tune. It's time for another dirty, vulgar song. I hope you people are excited for this. Because it's happening. This song's about a real guy. That's what I want you to know. A real gentleman. Irish Mike? Irish Mike? Irish Mike? Irish Mike is drunk. Irish Mike is drunk. Irish Mike is drunk. Irish Mike. Whoa, when you look. Irish Mike is drunk. Irish Mike is drunk. Irish Mike is drunk. And he's creeping around on the sticky wet floor of your local neighborhood chilies. He says he's looking for a nickel. He ain't looking for a nickel. He's trying to look up your skirt. And so, what were you? Cover your pussy in your butt. Irish Mike is drunk. Irish Mike is drunk. Irish Mike is drunk. What were you? Cover your pussy in your butt. Irish Mike is drunk. Irish Mike is drunk. Irish Mike is drunk. I know what you're thinking. I never eat at Chili's. That place is fucking disgusting. I'm in no fucking danger, but... What? But I see him! Irish Mike! Hey, Irish Mike, thanks for coming. I'm really glad that you made it now. Everyone, cover your pussy and your butt. Irish Mike is drunk. Irish Mike is drunk and Irish Mike is here. Everyone, cover your pussy and your butt. Irish Mike is drunk. Irish Mike is drunk and Irish Mike is here. Everyone, cover your pussy and cover your butt. Irish Mike is drunk. Everyone. That's a real dude. He's a big fan. He says, play that song about me and how I'm a date rapist. And I'm like, all right, Mike, if that's the one you want to hear, well, that's the song I'm going to play for you, you know? I'm here to please, obviously, with the choice of material. We're here to please, ladies and gentlemen. You know, so we get here towards the middle of the show. It's not all just going to be pussy jokes. Because sometimes I want you to know that your spirit... Your spirit is absolutely beautiful, okay? You're out there in the world trying to make your place, trying to make your home in a land that's so dark and so cold. But I don't want you to give up.
because each and every one of you is so special. You are special. You are special. You are. I think you know that you're the most special one of all. And you, sir, you're special too. Oh. And your uniqueness is what makes you you. And the world needs a you. The world needs each and every one of you, okay? So find out what your heart desires. Find out what your dream is. And go out and fulfill your destiny because you are special. You are special. Yes, you're special. Yes, you are. And you are special. Yes, you're special too. And you are special. Yes, you know that you are. And your uniqueness is what makes you you. We're going to take a 10 minute intermission right now. Everyone go get a drink okay. and then you'll know it's time to start again when you hear me cursing in the music play. So thank you very much. We'll see you in about 10 minutes, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage Ultra Sex Laser. That's right. I'm going to, I'm going to sing more songs to you. Get this thing going. We're getting into the second half of this comedy. I tell you what, everyone's got somebody they love. That's just the way it goes. And that's no different for me. There's someone I love too. And I want to dedicate this uh, this next song to her. I want you to pay special attention to the first word. That's what sums it up. One, two, three, four. Murder. <laughs> you know what? I've been following you. I've been watching you. I slept in your bed last night. I've been watching you through your windows. And there's something that I've been wanting to say. I've been waiting till we're alone, baby, to tell you these very words. Happy Valentine's Day, baby! Won't you be my Valentine? Oh, happy Valentine's Day, baby. Won't you be my Valentine? Oh, the worst things that you can imagine. The worst things you've ever thought of. I'm going to do to you. And I'm going to do them to the people you love. Now, happy Valentine's Day, baby. Won't you be my Valentine? Oh, happy Valentine's Day, sugar kitten. Won't you be my Valentine? Oh, that song's for Stacy, and she knows it's about her. I know what you want. I can feel it. You people want a song about a motherfucking squirrel, is that right? Is that what it is? Then God help me, I'm going to give it to you. I saw him. Into his eyes. He saw into my eyes. His name, Young Master Squirrel. 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 He eats only marsh. Mellows, that's a lot. He's so young, and he so is young, people. So young, and that's why, that's why, that's why he's so white. Oh, this squirrel, he's a prophet of the Lord. This squirrel's been anointed in the blood of the Lamb. This squirrel took his staff, plunged it into the sand. The waters parted, and the squirrels left Egypt. His name, Young Master Squirrel, 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 he eats. Only mush mellows. That's a lot. He's so young, so young, so young, and that's why. That's why. That's why he's so what? Watch out! This squirrel's got a knife. He's riding the rails. This hobo squirrel's got a murder in his heart. He ain't no prophet of the Lord, no sir. This squirrel, he's a prophet of the devil, and his name was. Young Master Squirrel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He eats only mush. No, that's a lot. He's so young, and that squirrel so is young people. So young. And that's why. That's why. That's why he's so white. Oh. And where is Spider Man, ladies and gentlemen? Spider Man is in the Whispering Caves. That's where he is. And where is Fire Chief? He was singing. He was screaming. He was screaming. Please, please, please. That's why, that's why, that's why he's so what? 
We're going to get your next comedian up to the stage. She has a lot of comedian. She's awesome. And you ever want to read about the masturbation of balls, you go to her blog at onlinedatinggyms.com. Put your hands together. Jody Champion. Thank you. Ultra Sex Laser, you guys. Give it up for them. Give it up for Ultra Sex Laser. There's a wall in the back. Uh, they've got a bumper sticker that they put on there. And I did a show like three months ago. And I was like, I just wrote, ouch. <laughs> right next to it. So now we're friends. <laughs> Thank you. We are cooking with fire now. We are at medium well, baby. All right, this next song, uh, I don't know what that means. I shouldn't have said that. I need to be thinking about the shit I'm going to say on this stage. That's absolutely correct. We are the best band in the world. Best band in the world. We are the best band in the world. Best band in the world. We are the best band in the world. Nintendo. Hoya, 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 hoya. Me trade them wampum. Me smoke them peace pipe. Me hunt them buffalo across the prairie. Ancient bow and arrow. Ancient tomahawk. I went to the mountaintop. I met my spirit animal. Ancient wolf. Ancient animal called coyote. I chased the buffalo across Oklahoma. Grow many casinos. Grow much wheat and grass. You might say that I am a Native American now. Hoya, 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 hoya. I'm a Native American now. song's not racist. What it does is it makes fun of the white man's perspective on the proud people yeah. that are Native Americans, and that's just the way it goes. That's so, Johnny Depp's Tonto, people. We can do what we're doing up here. I'll tell you what. If he's not wrong, we're not wrong. That's just all, that's all I'm saying. It's good stuff. Hey kids. Yeah. How do you like in fifth grade? Um, you learned a lot of you learned a lot of fun facts. No. What's your favorite class? Uh, I like art. Art, art is a lot of fun. Yeah. You like recess? Yeah. Do you like lunch? Yeah. What'd you have for lunch today? Sloppy Joe's. Oh, Sloppy Joe's. That sounds great. Well, do you like field trips? Yeah. I got an idea. Here's okay. what we're gonna do. Okay. You in all of your class. Okay. You're gonna get permission slips filled out. Okay. You're gonna load up on the bus, what? and then we're going. To the slaughterhouse, and all the kids are having fun at the slaughterhouse, and the butcher's name is Dan at the slaughterhouse. Wait, why is there a drain in the middle of the floor of the slaughterhouse? Slaughterhouse, slaughterhouse, and then Dan, he let a baby calf out by a rope, and he said, her name is Daisy. And all the kids, they gathered around and said, How cute, oh, ho, I love you, Daisy. And Daisy looked up at them with her big watery eyes and seemed to say, I love you, too. And then Dan the Butcher, he took out a knife and he killed her. He killed Daisy. Is it the slaughterhouse? Now all the kids are crying. At the slaughterhouse, there's fucking blood everywhere. At the slaughterhouse, why is Dan laughing? At the slaughterhouse, 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 slaughterhouse. You gotta break a couple eggs to make an omelet. That's what I'm saying. I want you to welcome tonight your special guest comedian. His name is David Diebel. He's been on the Tonight Show. He's been on Last Comic Standing. So let's put your hands together for David Diebel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, I represent the Lollipop Guild. <laughs> How you doing, folks? Woo! Okay. Woo! Woo! Congratulations, studio. Nice play. Why is it if a woman wants to swim 
with the dolphins, it's beautiful, but if a guy just wants to throw shit with the monkeys, it's just a man thing. <laughs> Great to be here. This is uh, first time in Denver in a few years. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm uh, married. I, uh, I got married old school to a woman. And, uh, <laughs> my wife and I have three kids, one of each. And uh, our youngest is a God, what is she, five month old girl. And this kid has not slept once in her entire life. Isn't it amazing how you can love a kid before she's even born, but not afterwards? <laughs> my wife is from Germany, and we were told that if my wife only speaks German to the kids, and I only speak to them in English, they'll eventually learn both languages fluently, which is the way it's worked for the oldest, but for the boy, he's now four years old, he speaks only Dutch. <laughs> That's a long way to go for that joke. Good lord. <laughs> Dutch is a loopy sounding language, isn't it? I like to think of it as German on Heineken. <laughs> Open me up, thank you. Yeah. He uh, actually speaks German and English very well. He tends to get the two confused. He'll say things like airplane hobbin or lost rooms outside, Laufen, or uh, let's I'll go outside and. Uh, it's cute now because he's four. My concern is he'll get to college and say things like, come on, boys, let's go get hammer schlubin. <laughs> <laughs> we both work hard, my wife and I. Uh, as an American, I work hard so that our kids don't have to. As a German, my wife works hard so that Greeks don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a good sign. You can hear distinct laughter. <laughs> you guys are laughing. It's spread out. It sounds like everyone's enjoying the show. It'll be nice. But uh, yeah, my wife, not yet a US citizen, but uh, in the process now of getting a green card. Although we have different reasons for doing so. She just wants to live year round in California. I just want her to have a right to remain silent. <laughs> Brought my wife on a cruise recently, I was performing on. Whenever she joins me on a cruise ship, we always have to get an outside cabin with a balcony because she tends to uh, lock me out the bathroom. And, uh, I guess that doesn't work off a cruise ship. Okay, we're just moving on. Mm. This is a fun job doing comedy. Uh, not tonight so much, but even in general. And, uh, I used to work at a men's big and tall clothing store. My job was to make men feel big and tall. My boss would point me out to customers and say, Hey, look, Pinocchio is a real boy. Mm. Okay, you're a joke ahead or a joke behind? What the hell's going on? I think the worst thing about being my size is my inability to trigger the electronic eye above the urinal in the men's room. It's not, uh, not easy to find clothes my size. I did some shopping downtown today for a shirt, and uh, there's not one baby gap in this entire city. My buddy said, David, your size, you should be like a jockey or one of those guys who puts the shit together inside the bottle or something. <laughs> Step on that joke. That's not right. Is Drew Mia Schlafen? Yes, thank you. Vielleicht später. You sound like a man. No, no comment. <laughs> oh, if I seem a little tired, it's because last night my hair was so perfect I couldn't bring them to go to bed. Bring them? Where did I get that from? No, I'm flying out here. They tried to uh, uh, confiscate my hair gel at airport security because I have six ounces in my carry-on bag. And uh, I didn't know what to take yet. I just put it in my hair where apparently it's legal. And, uh, I was after a crazy law. Six ounces of hair gel in your carry-on bag. They think you could be a terrorist. Oh, but 20 ounces in your hair? Well, then welcome aboard. I'm getting patted down at airport security, and the guy says, when I reach sensitive parts of your body, I'll use the back of my hand. <laughs> you talk about disappointment. <laughs> Fellas, if you ever get patted down at airport security in the US, and you're in the US, it helps to know your rights. I just look him right in the eye and I say, listen, I'm gay and I don't feel comfortable being patted down by another man. <laughs> It's too arousing. <laughs> then I insist on being patted down by a woman. <laughs> Preferably a lady blonde with big tits. <laughs> I lost the ladies on that one. <laughs> mm. People have no sense of humor when boarding the plane because they want to get settled in as quickly as possible. 
I'm, uh, I'm getting on the plane. I very politely approached the guy in the seat behind me and asked him if he would mind swapping seats with me so that his wife and I could sit together. And, uh, there's no sense of humor. <laughs> It's going to have a nice quiet place to go over some new material. <laughs> because now people are so high tech, they're so risk averse on the planet. You know, even the peanut bag has a warning that says these peanuts were processed in a facility that produces nuts. <laughs> I'd also like to say that reading my Kindle during takeoff interferes with the plane's navigation equipment. Maybe the plane needs an upgrade. <laughs> How does that work? You take your family on a Hawaiian vacation, you end up in Cleveland because your wife couldn't stop playing Angry Birds for a day off? <laughs> I haven't lived in Denver in four years. Boy, it's changed so much. Like this medicinal marijuana is amazing. I, I don't think it works as advertised. I think it actually makes things worse. You know, Because wherever you see medicinal marijuana legalized, the cases of glaucoma just explode. <laughs> I'm originally from San Francisco, California. I'm uh, not only president of the Bay Area Republicans Club, but I'm also the member. <laughs> I like freedom, I like a city like Vegas, boy. You know, San Francisco, they don't even let you smoke cigarettes anymore. Vegas, you can blow it directly into a baby's face for all day. <laughs> Vegas is the only city in America in which you can be in the witness protection program and mayor at the same time. <laughs> State birds, a dead hooker for crying out loud. <laughs> Even I can live up to Vegas community standards for crying out loud. Now, if you guys don't have the gambling gene, I'm going to give you a couple of tips to make the whole experience a lot more fun for you. At the roulette table, toss your own marble onto the wheel. They hate that. <laughs> Each time the blackjack dealer asks you to go on insurance, say, no thanks, I just saved a ton by switching to Geico. <laughs> mm. I performed on a nude cruise recently. I didn't even know it until I got on. And uh, I'll say this much for the nude cruise, ladies and gentlemen. It teaches you to make eye contact. <laughs> These people are naked, the whole cruise, in the audience, in the casino. I don't even know where they put their winnings. But I'll say this. <laughs> Give me an idea of some of the things I'd see. I'm walking down the uh, hall to my state room there. There's this older guy walking toward me. He's got no clothes on, just like the key around his neck. And, but he's got the comb over haircut going on. Like, God forbid I should see his bald head. <laughs> In some ways, he's just like any other cruise. Can you get on a joke, please? A lot of these are time release jokes. You'll get them on your way home. That's like other <laughs> I'm teasing, I'll take what I can. Now in some ways it was like any other cruise, for example, they had pool games. Like uh, you know, the water volleyball and the belly flop contest. Uh, the ring toss is not what I had expected. <laughs> <laughs> and I performed uh, with Richard Simmons on a cruise. It was called a cruise to lose. That's just fun because he's a high energy guy, very nice, and all the passengers are on board, losing weight, getting fit, and making positive changes in their lives. Now there were a handful of passengers that seem more interested in getting tan than getting fit, which is fine, but I don't personally understand it. I mean, who looks at their naked 300 pound body in the mirror and thinks, I'm too pale. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know trip to the movies. Who's a trip to the movies at that point? Getting a tan is like putting makeup on a rhino for crying out loud. <laughs> Even the sun is going, holy shit, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> I travel a lot. I like to read about places that I travel to. I was in Greece and uh, I was reading a fascinating book about uh, Facetious, the Greek goddess of sarcasm. And uh, <laughs> my wife and I were reading the Kama Sutra not long ago. That thing is complicated, boy. We had to call Bombay just to get technical support for crying out loud. <laughs> Thank God for speakerphone. <laughs> I like reading self-help books. For example, I've got this issue with uh, assertiveness. So I'm reading a book now about how to be more assertive. Uh, if that's okay with you. And, uh, <laughs> mm, and our government's spending so much money. Everybody criticizes the stimulus spending because it's our children and grandchildren who have to pay for it. Frankly, that's the only thing I like about it. <laughs> 
I'm sick of these credit card companies. When I go home every day after my mailbox, I get something from a Visa or MasterCard informing me that I have been pre-declined. <laughs> Had my identity stolen. What a nightmare that is. Fortunately, whoever stole it must have discovered my credit rating because two weeks later he mailed it back to me. <laughs> this microphone's not even real. I don't know why I'm pretending to use it. Um, <laughs> some of you are disengaged. What the hell's going on? Okay, we're going to do. Uh, oh, I see. You're still laughing at the previous joke. But I'm going to do some Okay, uh, I'm going to do a little magic. I am not a magician, not a professional or anything, but it's always been a hobby of mine. Uh, this is an ordinary quarter. Can you hello? What's your name? Jenny. Jenny, good to meet you. Would you just uh, hold me? You know, that's fine. It's an ordinary American quarter. Um, I'll do this. All this talent, and I'm also a notary. Okay, watch closely. That's okay. Oh, thank you. That's very <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks. All right, there's an easier version. Let me try this one. Once again, just keep your eye on the cord. <laughs> Alright, next, I'll balance this thing on my face. <laughs> Once balanced, it will vanish into thin air. It's gone. <laughs> Um, uh, I don't do any ethnic humor in my show. I'm amazed where you encounter ethnic humor these days. I was reading uh, about a new electric toothbrush. I was reading the instruction manual. Listen to this. The Oral-B Triumph has four brushing modes. Clean, sensitive, massage, and polish. <laughs> Do a three hour show just to piss you people off. <laughs> Lock the doors, boys! Alright, here's something I haven't quite gotten mastered yet, although it didn't stop me with the other trick. Uh, brand new trick is an ordinary highlighter pen, much if you have, a, have in your own homes or offices, and I'll just give it my best shot. Rob's gonna go nuts. <laughs> okay, I uh, I normally begin my show by demonstrating a few simple skills, and then I gradually do the more difficult ones. But tonight, because in fact, I really feel a lot of love coming from you folks. Because I'm gonna skip all the easy stuff and go directly to one ball juggling. <laughs> I'll begin by kicking this billiard ball into the air, and then catch it firmly wedged in my right eye socket. <laughs> I'm excited too. <laughs> I'm okay. You get the impression my parents must book this show. tonight, I'll share with all of you the ancient Aztec art of face juggling. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> I'm not going to slip him a banana peel for you, all right? <laughs> this isn't TV. I can see you're not applauding over here. 
All right, I'm going to take things a step further now by combining three popular American pastimes. Billiards, table tennis, and face juggling. <laughs> There's more. disappointed in my DVD sales here in Denver. Last time I performed here, I showed up with about 20, and I ended up leaving with uh, 67. <laughs> um, if you'd like to learn how I uh, came up with my act, you can visit my mom's new website, neversheathenbaby.com. <laughs> and uh, I can start wrapping things up here, as I said, and I know a lot of you folks have wondered from time to time, why is it that people never try to impress their family and friends by juggling plastic grocery sacks. <laughs> Here's why that is. <laughs> Whoops, almost missed. All right, <laughs> in order to make this a bit more exciting, as if that were possible, <laughs> I will attempt to juggle all three grocery sacks using only one hand <laughs> at a time. <laughs> it's gonna last long, so don't blink. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> right, <here> <laughs> get home, it's going to be the first thing you're going to try. <laughs> Thanks for coming out to the show. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. Hello, we got items to the maximum. We're going to do one more song for you. Oh my gosh, it's all coming together. That, that ping pong ball has spit on it. I just want you to be hitting it. 
Uh, don't go, don't go grabbing for it. We're gonna do one more song. Coincidentally, the name of this song is also the name of the show you just watched. Hot comedy experience, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My pulse is up. Is it's the hot comedy experience you just watched this thing? Hot, 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 hot comedy. Cause it's the hot comedy experience and it's coming at you the second Thursday of every single month. We got some thank yous that we got to get out here. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank Caitlin and Greg. Future. Yes, absolutely. They're, they're here. Lucy Lay and Aubrey. I want to thank all the comedians tonight. Amber Hot, she was awesome. Mike Hammock, Jody Champion, and your headliner, David Diebel, for the hot comedy experience. Yes. Hot comedy experience. And it's coming at you. We'll see you next month on the second Thursday. We'll see you then. Thank, Thank you all so much. Roll for sex life. Y'all are beautiful. Good luck. You got a whole life ahead of you of joy and happiness. Okay? It's going to be beautiful. No one is going to be